Hello everyone and welcome back to The Lorry Files and welcome if this is your first time. Today's art is an oil painting. I've been dying to get back into my oils um, and to, I have kicked it off with some fan art. Um, this is Sylvanus Windrunner and if you're not familiar with her she is a character from World of Warcraft. She is also in Heroes of the Storm game and she's also in Warcraft 3. Um, okay, so the painting, what I'm doing right now is I'm just, I start off by filling in all the, blocking in all the colours. It always starts off looking really, really weird. Um, probably you might think it finishes looking really, really weird too, but uh, this is my kind of thing that I do and I find it's quite effective because I can sort of start to picture in my mind where I need light and dark where the contours are now I am not real good at portraiture or vases or human form even though she's actually a night elf I'll get into that in a minute um but yeah eyes and nose and mouth I always end up it always looks weird by the time I'm finished I'm usually frustrated and I turn it into something else the great thing about oil paint is you can you layer you can layer it like that's what I'm doing right now is I'm layering it I'm laying down a base and then I'm putting over a bit more a bit less you know whatever I want and then you can add other shades of color cool tones warm tones whatever anyway I might do a um, a how to on that in the coming months uh, love oil paints and if you haven't given oil paints a go go ahead and have a go because they're just so much they're just really they feel really nice to work with as well I'm doing her brow at the moment and later on I didn't video it but I felt that her the shading on her um, face was a little bit too far down and if you have a look in the the final photo which was actually at the beginning and you'll see it again at the end I um, have receded that uh, black it's almost a bluey black I've receded that and all I did was I just went over the top of it and this is the great thing about oils is there's a lot of great things about oils but this is one of the great things about oils so anyway a little bit about Sylvanus um she started off as a high elf uh, in the Windrunner family obviously because her name's Sylvanus Windrunner who would have guessed it she had two sisters and two brothers I believe from what I can find out it's, it's a little bit hard to find a lot of, um, about her backstory. There's just so much to this story and, and I was going to do a whole story on her but I'm just going to put some links. So if you go down bottom, you'll see some links in the description. Um, it's just There's just so much information about her that I could not fit it all into one video. It would take me hours to go over it and there's a lot of interweaving with other people that you, if you haven't played the game, it's going to mean nothing to you. So I ain't going to even go there. So she was a very vain high elf. Uh, she became a ranger. She was very skilled. She basically climbed from her ranks of being a, a ranger lieutenant right up to being leader. Um, her story is really long, like I said, and, and yeah, if you want to go and have a look at the links, by all means do so. So basically what happened to her, like, you know, like this was the sort of the, this is how she sort of came about. This is like the meat of the story. She was mortally wounded uh, by the Lich King. He used a, a, a sword called the Frostmourne and he stabbed her. And she begged for a clean death and he was an, a bit of a, a, a tyrant and he decided that he wasn't going to give her a clean death. They'd been at it for years of war. Lots of wars had happened and she didn't, you know, she would have liked to have just died peacefully but that was not going to happen. So what he did was he extracted her soul uh, and then he made her into a banshee. Um, her body was stored away in an iron coffin and uh, later on Sylvanus went back and stole, she was a banshee but she wanted her body back so she went and stole her body back. Uh, so basically she's neither living nor dead. Um, I, f I feel she gets a bit of a bad rap now because she sort of has turned bad in inverted commas but I feel that over the years she's become very bitter and she's not alive or dead. So she's really not, she's, not, she's basically um, a race of her own now um, and she's pretty much blinded by rage and hatred um, and the betrayal and the pain from from what's come to pass and her actions are neither high elf nor banshee because she doesn't really relate to either very well anymore um, she's known as the banshee queen uh, that's kind of a label that she's got and it's stuck and um, her powers 
I guess are quite intimidating. You know, they, they she's she's quite a force to be reckoned with, and you 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 have power and you have anger and you have the rage and unfortunately it's not it's quite a negative uh, vibe that she's got going on. But she's still my favourite. <laughs> I feel that her goal now is to manipulate death itself. Uh, she she wants to uh, be able to control death, and I feel that um, you know the, the, there's a saying that uh, is uh, power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And I think that this that's that fits her quite well. So I'll let you watch the rest of the video. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do a bit more fan art because I really enjoyed doing this. I felt that I could really contact and and uh, get into the, the character's head by doing this. So I have a big appreciation for it now. So I really enjoyed it and I look forward to doing some more. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video and have a cracker of a day.